menores. In Caracas, an almost surreal scene. Two Venezuelans speaking in the same city at the same time, each claiming to be the country's legitimate president. It's a high-stakes bet for Juan Guaidó, who was proclaimed interim president by the opposition-controlled National Assembly on Wednesday. He's now calling on the military, considered the deal-breaker in this conflict, to support regime change. Guaidó announced the approval of an amnesty law to benefit army members prepared to abandon Nicolás Maduro, while summoning Venezuelans to take to the streets. Those who think that we're backing down, that the streets have come down, have another thing coming. The people are going to be on the streets for as long as it takes. But at the presidential palace, the embattled president responded by making it clear he's not going anywhere. We will defeat the coup d'etat that intends to intervene in the political life, throw Venezuelan sovereignty aside and install a puppet regime for the interests of the United States empire and its allies in the Western world. Friday, the European Union said it would join the US, Canada and most of Central and South America and recognize an interim government unless immediate and internationally supervised elections take place. This as non-essential US embassy staff began leaving the country, though not top-tier diplomats. Washington says it doesn't recognize Maduro's authority to sever diplomatic ties or expel U.S. embassy personnel. The U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo has called an emergency U.N. Security Council meeting for Saturday. Russia is now putting its full weight behind Maduro, warning Washington against intervention in Venezuela, while offering to barter negotiations to end the conflict. But the opposition says the time for talking is over. On the Colombian side of the border, Venezuelans returned home with supplies, nervous about what lies ahead. These Venezuelans know that the crisis in their country is entering into uncharted waters, a confrontation between President Maduro and his opponents, between Maduro and the United States, and between the United States and Russia. And the only thing at this hour that they seem to be certain of is that there is total uncertainty about how all this will unfold. The UN High Commissioner for Human Rights warns that the situation could quickly spiral out of control with catastrophic consequences. Lucia Newman, Al Jazeera, Cucuta, Colombia.